we learned at the end of the last show, GB, that Sunny Days and Sal Renaro, also known as Happy Madness, will be receiving this tag team championship match. They got some new music, a new look here for the new members of Contra. Whoa. And a completely new attitude. And I can't say that I'm exactly surprised. Here's the messed up part about this. On their own, they are a very worthy tag team. They are tag team champions over at Southern Fried, but it is the way that they went about getting this tag team title match that has created all sorts of problems for a lot of the fans here. The fact that these two are now part of Contra is really hard to digest. It's extremely, look at Sal. It, it's so strange. This is not because the happy Sal that we're accustomed to. Because I found normally, Sal. normally when Sal comes out here, it's a party. It is a party. The crowd's and, going crazy. The crowd's having fun. Everybody's smiling. But tonight is completely different. He's smiling, but it's more of a sadistic smile. It is. It is. And I don't know what to do with this. And Sunny Days, who the people have loved for years here in SHW, we don't know how to process this moment. And now the idea that this tag team, again, tag champions over at Southern Fried, could now become the Southern Honor Tag Team Champions. So now things are going to get very, very interesting because remember, All-Star Special, look, the jukebox is out of order thanks to Brooklyn. That's right, she said they would not get their music. This crowd trying to do a little acapella version here of some... Well, listen, there may not be an organized track, but it seems like the choir is in order. So this may have backfired on Brooklyn here. Brooklyn said they would not get any entrance music, but this crowd singing, We Will Rock You. Bringing out Huck and Hanson here, the SHW Tag Team Champions. This is pretty incredible. I missed rehearsal because Huck told me that they were going to tell me when rehearsal was, but I never got the email. I never got the DM. I didn't get the, the notification. They didn't give me anything. It got lost in the mail, according Clearly. to Clearly. You know, it's been a rough month. It has been a rough but month. What happened at the end of the last show, I don't blame them for forgetting to send you the invite. Well, listen, I'm sure I was the last thing on their mind after dealing with the betrayal from Happy Madness. Nobody, they thought they had allies in this fight against Contra, and instead, they find out, well, look at this, this is scary. Sunny Days was chasing Diana to have her stop singing We Will Rock You. This is frightening. She was joining along with the crowd here, and that was a little dangerous with Happy Madness in the ring there. That's very dangerous. We haven't had the ring intros yet, but Diana, yeah, doing her, that's a smart move getting out of the ring right now. Very smart move. We need Diana to be okay, and with this new attitude for Happy Madness, I don't really know what the future holds here for any of these folks. So this is crazy right now. The crowd coming alive, though, firmly behind All-Star Special. Here we go. Tag team belts waiting right here for us. And now is the question. How will All-Star Madness? Oh, All-Star All All Madness, All-Star Madness. All Special. Here we go. It's a madness, all right, with All-Star Special right on the attack, not even waiting for a bell. Absolutely not. And I fully understand why. The betrayal that happened here last month is something the likes of which we never, ever expected. That's the thing. It's not usually the people that you expect to turn on you. It's the folks that are relatively close to you. And you did not imagine that Happy Madness <laughs> could do such a thing as they did last month. Chaos is ensuing now is on the outside. You've got Sal and Huckabee. Oh, Sal gets sent into the guardrail. Meanwhile, in the ring, Hanson is taking it to sunny days right now. And again, I don't recall if we've heard the bell yet. Have we heard the bell for this match? I, it started pretty chaotically here. It certainly oh, did. Double shoulder tackle there takes down sunny days. 
And so here the Tag Team Champions All-Star Special in their 119th day as champs. Oh, wow. And now we're seeing again the, the, the chaotic nature of this Tag Team of Happy Madness. And again, they're paired off once again. Now it's Huck on the outside with Sal Winaro. Sal moves, oh, no. and Huck caught all of that ring post. Meanwhile, in the ring, oh, vicious headbutt there from Sunny Dave's almost caved in the chest of Hold My Beer Hanson. And here's the thing that we know. Huck is not a stranger to chaos, but I don't think anybody is prepared for the kind of chaos that Happy Madness could bring because we've never seen that side of Happy Madness before. Boy, this is wild. This is wild. Now, some semblance of a match here is... Hanson and Sunny Day is in the ring. Sunny Day is choking Hanson across the center strand there. It, it, it just boggles my mind to see the darkness that is up all over the face of Sunny Days. He's just dark. He's lifeless. I, I don't understand this. Salvernaro with the boot up in the corner. And his boot just met. Hanson's forehead, now Hanson hit hard. Now here's what's scary to me, let's think about this. Sal Renaro, before joining Contra, was really one of the only people to score a win over Cruel. After, not long after Cruel turned his back on Sunny Days. Look at so this. how much more dangerous can Sal Renaro be now that he's on the side of the SHW champion Cruel and Contra? You're right, we already knew he was a little unhinged. And, and that makes, look at, look at this. Oh, man. He's now trying to break the fingers of Hanson. You're right, resorting to tactics that we never see him resort to here. And you know what's scary about this is perhaps in a different situation, you might look at All-Star Special as the favorites in this match. But I think they could even be deemed the underdogs after all that's happened here with Happy Madness and Contra. Hanson's in a bad way here, and Hunk who uh, got hit in, the, uh, hit in the ring post earlier. Oh, a huge splash here from Sunny Days. Huck, who hit the ring post earlier, is still struggling to get to his feet here. Yeah, this is actually frightening. It's Another splash here from Sunny Days to hold my bear Hanson. And let's think about this. Outside of the chaotic start, you know, at this point, uh, it has really been, really for the last few minutes, all happy madness. Oh, wow. It was going to be a cannonball, but it turned into a hip attack there. And look, look, at, now look Sal. at Sal. Look at Sal. I said he's a little on hands. Look at him just clapping and now just ripping at the ear yes. of Hanson. This is not good. And there's a tag. In comes Saul. Sal Renaro. Look out. Oh, there's the cannonball. Which we normally see from sunny days. And look at this. This version of Sal may be the most dangerous we've ever seen. And where is Huck is still struggling on the outside, trying to get up to the ring apron. This this is very, very dangerous for All-Star Special because here's the deal. Their tag titles are on the line here. This could mark the end of their title ring, and they've not been in a more dangerous situation than they are right now. What a stomp there right to the chest from Sal Renaro. And then Sal right, right there to Huck again as Huck was finally getting back to his feet. Here's what's crazy to me. Before Sal joined Contra, I think people kind of, you know, weren't sure of what he was able to do. Now he seems more dangerous and more confident in, in still his most unusual way. We were seeing such a vicious side of Sal that we never knew was possible here. Answer reversed in the corner, but Sal gets that boot up. Now goes up to the second turnbuckle. And here we go. Sal's got big plans. Oh, but he gets caught. Oh, he got caught. Oh, wow. Now Hanson turned it into a spine buster. And now if Hanson can make it to his corner, Huck is finally making his way back up to the ring apron. We could finally see a tag here. And that tag is desperately needed. Though I think Huck is in trouble. But look at this. Uh-oh. Sunny Days pulling Huck off the ring apron right when Hanson was getting ready to make the tag there. Oh, wow. And he's giving the universal signal that's your number one. Look oh. at this. Oh. Sal Renaro just dialed it up and took out Hanson. Hanson's down in the center of the ring. And again, Huck still down on the floor. And this could be very, very bad uh -oh. Oh, for the future of All-Star Special in their title reign. Sal Renaro clearly with the advantage here, just laying the boots. This is frightening. I'm, I, I'm shocked right now. Oh, 
And what he a goes. shot, the knee right across the jaw. Hanson might be out, his hand's shaking. Look at his hand, yeah, he's I, convulsing I, right now. I'm very, he might very, be out. I'm very, very scared right now for Hanson. Again, this marks the two year anniversary of Hanson's entry into Southern Honor Wrestling, and this could be a dubious night for him at this particular oh. rate. Big elbow there from Sunny Days right across the spine of Hanson. And before he delivered that elbow, he delivered another kick to Huck and took Huck back down to the floor once again. Here's a scary thought. Two years ago at this very show, Hanson made his entry into SHW. Could it be that two years later he loses the Tag Team Championship? What a shot right across the forehead from Sunny Days to Hanson. This and crowd it, trying to get behind All-Star Special here. But I also can't get over the deliberate nature of Sunny Days. Sunny Days has just never operated like this before. And all of this spells major trouble for All-Star Special. Days tags in Renaro once again. Up off the top rope and another elbow right to the spine of Hold My Beer Hansen. Sal Renaro is just in a different lane right now. And we've not seen him. And again, like I said, this is the same Sal that got a win over Cruel. So he is even more dangerous now under the tutelage of Cruel. Sal Renaro delivering those right hands. And Hanson, snapmare takeover. Hanson in such a bad way here. Huck is finally up on the ring apron and he's finally upright. Yeah, but Huck's not in much better shape right now either. He's been taking a beat down and distractions and all sorts of things. Will he really be able to be a fresh man if he can get in the ring? Look at that. Sal with almost like a Shawn Michaels-like pose and behavior. And meanwhile, and Sunny Dade's going right back after Hanson. Sal's tuning up the band. Oh, and he missed the super kick, and there's oh. a tag to Huckabee. A long-awaited tag, here we go. Now Huck taking out both members of Happy Madness the with these lariats. The incredible Huck is like a house of fire. He's angry, and you're not gonna like him when he's angry. What a forearm there to Renaro, and one for Sunny Dades as well. Oh, the meeting of the minds there. Look out, whoa, what, what an overhead suplex. Great move there, and a massive spine buster! Good grief! Wow! This is the Huck that All-Star Special needed to show up! This is the Huck that is a tag team champion! And this is the Huck that could extinguish Happy Madness! Oh, oh my god! He may have just chopped some sense back into Sal! The most vicious chops and the most vicious right hand in all of pro wrestling! But oh. he's gotta be careful, he just shoved the referee! But there's that headbutt from Sunny Days! Sonny missed with the clothesline. There's a stunner! Big stunner a there! stunner from Hanson! Now wait a second. But Hanson's not the legal man! And look on the outside. Sal Renaro dragged the table over, the, the timekeeper's table over but, the but ring why? apron. Look out! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, look out, look it's out, look out! Oh, 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 oh. He, he hit half the table and a lot of the concrete! The back of his head smacked the concrete floor after going through that table. Oh my gosh! That was frightening! Good lord! My god! That was frightening! Oh god! We just heard the oh bell god. here. There's, there's blood on the floor. Holy cow! What a power bomb! Whoa! Well, we saw he kind of overshot the table. The back of his head just smacked the concrete floor. And now, you're right, GB. We do see some blood on the floor here as some of our, our, our staff in the back's coming out to check on him here. That was very, very frightening. And this is a very serious moment. A very serious moment. You can hear the hush fall over the crowd. We did hear a bell here, so I don't know if this match has been thrown out officially. It must yeah, have. I feel like the match was stopped as they began to assess the injury to, here to Sal Renaro. Luckily, we see him moving all of his limbs. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Sal back up to his feet here. A very frightening moment there. Don't none of y'all clap for that punk ass. Wow. And this face painted girlfriend. Wow. You know what I'm gonna do? Or 
sunny days, wherever you want to call yourself, wherever your alter ego is, you really want to know with me, because I'm from the projects. We can do it in the rain, we can do it in the parking lot. I'm going to show these fans what I'm willing to go through for what I love. Because I got some 42 little punk asses. Yeah. <laughs> you see how you're bleeding right now, Sam? That's how I was bleeding last month when you two turned your back on me and Hanson. That's the same way all these fans' hearts were bleeding when you turned on him and you joined Cool and his little girlfriend. And my girlfriend, I mean, called him Bravo. I wasn't shocked that Joe Black joined Contra because I've been telling y'all since I got here that Joe Black wasn't shit and now he's proved just how much he ain't shit. But next month, hey, what we should do here is I got a great idea. Let's put some money on it. So, we ain't doing no DQs, we ain't doing no cheating to all these people out here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make this a no DQ match for your certified tag team titles. Take-all tag team title contest coming up in the near future. Happy Madness putting the Southern Fried titles on the line against the Southern Honor titles of All-Star Special if it gets made official. This is historic. Wow. Nothing like this has happened in the history of Southern Honor Wrestling. What a wild turn of events here. So the Southern Honor title, the Southern Fried title. Winner take all. That's what, that's what the man said. The shocks continue here tonight. And we've yet to even get to the main event. We certainly haven't. Thank you. 